My name is Kathleen Flynn Bisson, and I am um, a faculty member and the prevention coordinator in the addiction studies department, which is under um, the addiction studies program, which is under the allied health sciences department. So um, the addiction studies department in a nutshell trains um, students, people to be substance abuse counselors. Um, so they, you know, they, that's or the courses that are within our program. There's 10 courses in particular that are specific to be what's called the KSAC. K KSAC is someone who is a substance abuse counselor. And um, what they do is they help people that are struggling with a substance use disorder. So OASAS had made available a, what's called an environmental prevention grant. And what this is, there were 20 schools um, within New York State that we applied for this grant. And it was, it's a five-year grant. And the focus was to educate the both the campus and the community on underage drinking, prescription drug abuse. You know, educate. You know what I mean. You know, people, not just you know of a, you know a certain age. I mean, the focus was on underage drinking, but it's the whole bring education to everybody. Um, and in what's called the book environmental change grant started in 2017, and uh, what that brought to the addiction studies program was this huge prevention arm. And I was hired under that. I'm the grant coordinator. So we're in year five of the grant. Um, this is our last year of the grant, which is actually really great to be able to do this interview and let people know what we've been doing because we wanted to continue after the grant. So um, hopefully, you know, that it'll be the, the college will pick up, this, you know, what we've been doing um, so that it, the, what we're working on has. So then we started to offer virtual prevention workshops. A um, little bit harder to get students to come. Um, extra credit is always a great thing. I do, I work very closely with the college seminar classes. I go into the, uh, you know, went physically into the, the classes when students were here. And now I virtually went into the classes. So I would go in and I do like a 45 minute workshop on substances. And from there, they learned about the prevention services. They learned about conversations change lives. But a number of our students are, have experienced something with chemical dependency or with addiction, whether it's themselves or something in their life. So sometimes, you know, we, this is one of the reasons why our faculty, I think, is so amazing, is a student might be sitting in a class and they might have, we're talking about family alcoholism, we're talking about overdose, we're talking about depression, we're talk, talking about how to reach people. They sometimes will connect to the material um, and sometimes it'll trigger something for them. And we have extra support for that. And we also have a number of students that it's not a requirement, but we also have a number of students that are in recovery themselves. So when we're talking about alcohol, tobacco, other drugs, sexual education, because I do, you know, as a health teacher, I do teach, you know, sex education. My goal is to get them to connect with how does it relate to them? Because if they can figure out a way to how it relates to them, then they're going to want to know more about it. You know, so, so that's how, that's really how I look at it. And the big, the way that I get through it is that if I can just tell them how amazing they are, that they said it out loud, then that's how I get through it. You know, because I'm like, if I can just be that vehicle that is the beginning of that journey of healing, no matter what it is, what a blessing. And that's how I get through it. Since my kids were born, they know what I do for a living. They, first, they, you know, a health teacher, um, you know, but then specifically to educate about substances. So the answer to that question is, is I do bring it home. Um, the hardest part for me was when they were younger, all right, and I'll be honest, and this is completely, when they were younger, I'm like, my kids are never going to make unhealthy decisions. They're going to, they, they're in a house with, you know what I mean, someone who understands, they're never going to make mistakes. Like that was my thinking. And once I embrace the fact that they're their own individual person, they have their own protective units besides just me, whatever, you know, whatever that is. Um, and I'm there to guide them. There's, there are lots of resources. Like one, obviously I'm a big resource and I'm sure my name and my email will be on it. And I do get a lot of calls like, what about this? And what about that? And, and if I don't know the answer, I will find the answer. But one of the biggest resources, and I think that, um, that a lot of people, both faculty, students, and staff every year get a document that's called the annual security report. And it's a document that is um, sent out to the college to, and it's required. You know, we are required by you know, SUNY to send it out. And in that document, it talks a lot about, you know, Title IX, which is the sexual assault education that's required. But if you go a little bit further, there's a whole bunch of information, and I've edited it so I know what's in there, um, about alcohol, tobacco, and other drugs. But the, even more importantly, there's a two-page, what's called um, resources for both treatment and prevention. 
So the annual security report that is available to everybody, again, faculty, students, and staff, it's online. That has resources um, for treatments, for prevention. I, we, it defines what different substances are. Um, it talks about you know, the new law that's come into effect about you know, adult use of cannabis. It talks about vaping. So that's something that's available to all, but I'm always a resource. Um, you know, anybody that has any questions, you know, I mean, what is this? What is that? Can you, you know, can you refer me to somebody? Favorite place to shop? Amazon. I'm not a shopper. <laughs> um, I even do all my Christmas shopping online. Um, my favorite movie of all time, my, my always, when I've been asked that before, I've always said The Wizard of Oz. Celebrity crush is Matthew McConaughey. I think from his earlier movies, um, but even now as he's gone along and she's ta he's taken on some more serious roles, not just the pretty boy role that he used to take, but I just, I, I, he's definitely my celebrity crush. Some of the work I've done with the faculty association is I always do a substance 101 workshop for as part of professional development day, which is the college wide professional development day. And that's when I really get to meet a lot of the faculty and a lot of the staff because then they're like, oh, where are you? Who are you? Um, the other thing is that they've always been very supportive of any programs that I've done. I'm like, can you get the word out about this? Can you, can you let faculty know this exists? Um, and then obviously some of the other things that's been really wonderful too, being full-time and being part of that too, is just the benefits of it. You know what I mean? If I need anything or any services or whatever, I feel like that they've, they've always been there. You know, what is this? Like I question them all the time. Um, so I really am hoping too, as things go forward and the, the grant kind of closes up, we're still going to continue, you know what I mean, the prevention work that we're doing. But once the grant is done, um, my hope is that I'll be a full-time faculty and then there'll be more opportunity to work very closely with the faculty association. Mm -hmm.